Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So today's new daily quest is cast 30 red or green spells. Very nice, we'll be using our Grudel Gruel Delirium deck for that. Just ignore the uh, cast white and, white and black, I didn't get a chance to finish that up between recordings. Halloween and all that, you know. Anyway. Gruel Delirium. Nothing has changed with this deck. I think we've used this actually fairly recently, so if you've seen some of the more recent episodes, you'll know what this deck is about. Um, but for those of you who haven't seen it, it is the main focus of the deck is using kind of a combination of things, using Patchwork Beastie to always be able to put something in the graveyard at the start of your turns. Um, same thing with fear of missing out is allows you to discard something that you want to discard which is typically going to be bolestrate worm because you can it's delirium abilities that you can play it from your graveyard very nice once you get at least four different types of cards artifact creature enchantment land um instant and sorcery once you get you know four you know any combination of those four into the grave, you know, your delirium build abilities start working, and that's when this deck starts going off. So yeah. Go ahead and give it a shot. Oh wow, was uh, not expecting that. So let's see, let's see. This is a, I will admit, this is a little bit of a not the greatest hand to start with, but I'll make it, I'll try to make it work. Oh, joy. Um, okay. Say no way. Let's say no way you block with your Rot Priest. Our opponent is playing most likely a Sleznaya Toxic deck, so not as big of a focus on the spell casting, though I could be wrong, they might be doing more of an enchantment deck and deciding to use Rot Priest for it. Very high possibility of that. Okay. Unfortunately, that doesn't give me a lot of information. Well, kind of. I didn't know it kind of does, but... Anyway. So, use Entai's ability. But you can't target yet, you gotta let me resolve. Okay, go for a... Uh, can't play that. So that'll well, I mean that, and that'll go to exile, unfortunately. So that's fine. You still take three here. We'll probably go with screaming nemesis next because omnivorous flytrap's not. I mean, omnivorous flytrap is a good card. Ooh. I was hoping for, yeah, I was hoping for something else there, but uh, let's actually send the patchwork because that'll give me an artifact, and let's go with trample or give that thing trample. That's fine. Yeah. Entice kind of serves as And that gets rid of a problematic jawbone duelist. Really? I'm guessing my opponent just doesn't have much. Ooh, is the opponent land starved? Because if that's the case, then awesome. Uh, yeah. Let's go that. Kill that. It'll exile. I'll take the poison counter. Yeah, and they saw what I was about to do. For those curious, by using my, tor my uh, Torch to the Tower, 
I was going to exile their Crawling cor Chorus because it, it would die from that, meaning its ability would not activate, meaning it would not create a Phyrexian Might, but even if it did, it wouldn't have mattered because those things can't block. And at that point, I have 5 damage, 3 damage, 8 damage. They have 6 life. Game over. This would have generated, put me at 4 poison counters, even if they had a protection spell, like a uh, royal... Um, uh, anyway, something that would have protected their crawling course, like a uh, Tyver's Last Stand, something like that. Um, I would have gotten up to 5, but still. I wouldn't have probably won that turn, but still kind of a case of our opponent our opponent seemed to be uh, mana starved so really unfortunate when that happens but it happens and I will happily take the victory from that rot priest is a card you don't see quite as often anymore for some for whatever reason and, I mean, toxic poison counter builds are still really, really powerful. But yeah, you just don't see them as often. I had a really strong one. A Simic deck that, that uh, comboed Rot Priest and Ivy. I think was her name. Yeah, Spell Ivy Spell Thief. That was a kind of a devastating combo. I almost didn't like playing it. Go ahead and go with the Patchwork Beastie just so I can start getting things into the graveyard. Okay, I need to get rid of that. Hopefully, I have something. No, that wouldn't have helped me anyway. So, I'm gonna go for damage. Yeah, we need to start getting some damage in quickly because this is... Oh, actually, white, black, white, blue. Hmm. Oh, boosted that one. Okay. Let's see. I can do a couple of things here. I'm going to go with another... I'm going to go with another patchwork. And I think I'm going to go with, or uh, Wicker Folk, and yeah, let's go with the Beastie. I lose one, but I get an artifact into the grave. Which, which puts me to three. Can't block yet with Patrick Beastie, which is unfortunate. Ah, they're gonna take one of them or are they gonna take the wildfire? Okay. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, it's not that's not great at all, honestly. Oh, excellent. And that puts me to four. Let's see. see myself winning this. Do I have a Scorching Shot? If I can pull another Scorching Shot, but I would, I would, I would also need another land because of their ward too. Yeah.
Oh, wait, does this... Oh, yeah, that has to attack as well. Really? Hmm. Yeah, there's not much I can do with this hand. I mean, if I could get my worm out, my bullistrate worm... Yeah, they don't want to attack. Yeah, I can't walk that, so... But I never pulled anything that would be able to get rid of their glimmer, so... So you do realize I'm mana tapped. <laughs> so, there's no reason to be cautious there, but anyway. Yeah, definitely not the uh, not the best way, but I never I never pulled a, never pulled a card. Well, I did technically that scorching shot, but it went to the grave. So, eh, these things happen. Either way, let's head into our third match. This will probably be the last for the episode, and that's all right. Yeah, even if we if we don't get the win that I would prefer to happen here, that's okay. Still, still one of my favorite decks. Does it work every time? No, of course not. No, that's... You know, I, I don't like playing decks that always work, because, you know, where's the fun in that? Okay, no, this is actually one of my preferred starts. Kind of. Which would, what would have been even better is if I had a Bullistrate Worm so I could send out my fear of missing out without worry. Oh no. Yeah, none of that for you. You don't get that. You don't get to start doing that. A second one. And a third, yeah, I'm very happy I got rid of one of you. Mm. Okay, well, we can do the fear of missing out to get rid of another one. See, that should put me up to four. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, that was fast. If I attacked with fear with, was with the fear, it would have been yeah. But that's fine. Yeah, if I had attacked with fear, I would have had a potential second, second attack step. But you get a multi-block. No. I wanted to get rid of their mana generator over the patchwork beastie. 
fish since they had a second one. Sending out two wildfires. Um, yeah, well, that's fine because they won't they won't gain life because of my nemesis. You're still going to take trample damage if you don't block further. There you go. Um, okay. That's fine, and yeah, I'd rather take it. Yeah. Yes, their overlord will be. Okay. So yeah, now they have their overlord on the field, which is a little annoying, but I can do that. And let's give it to... Yeah, they both have trample, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, they can still win. They can still, I would say, they can still survive this. That's fine. You're going to lose your overlord. Sadly, it's kind of downhill from here for me. They had just enough token generation with Death Touch. I'm hanging on to the Fable Passage as potential um, discard material. But I am. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and sacrifice that. Oh well, yeah. That's probably. Yeah, that'll do it next. Actually, I just won. That was the absolute best top deck I could have ever hoped for. Just because of its ability. Whenever Screaming Nemesis is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any other target. If a you know if a player is dealt damage this way, they can't gain life for the rest of the game. So yeah, they had to block where they would have lost, and because they block, they lost. Huh. All right. <laughs> Sometimes the cards, the heart of the cards, is on your side, and that was one of those times. Excellent. So that's going to do it for the um, for the matches for today. We did level up, which I think only got us the ex the exquisite card for the set, which looks pretty cool. I like that. All right, not that I'll probably ever use it, but I still like it. And I do have a pack to open from um, the end of the October ranked season. So I thought I'd open it with you guys. Ooh, a mythic. Let's see, nothing 
too outrageous here. Uh, what is our mythic? Ooh, abhorrent Oculus. Not bad. I think that's either that's either my second or third copy of this card. Really, really good with some manifest manifest dread decks. Though it is kind of a it is a little bit of a pain to get it out onto the field. But if you can, you know that's pretty good, pretty good indeed. Anyway. That will do it for me. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you do happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is released, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.